Welcome to another another stream of Spaghetti Blueprints. With me, your host, Juggling John. Okay, so I've got... Uh, this week I've been spending the time fixing some old bugs and... Uh, and whatnots. So I put, put down the other things that I was doing to... Um, to go back and, and get some other bits and bobs working. And what you see before you is a mess because I've been hacking away at it, trying to get it going. However, what I, so I'm, I'm, on, I'm back on the Hungry Spider level. And I've been dealing with a movement issue that's been plaguing the level for a while now. I'll show you, I'll show you the improvements that I've managed to make. But it's still a work in progress, and that's where we're going to start today. Away in a so, corner of the world, as you can see now, holding left obvious. mouse button down is a lot it's more responsive. Insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. I now need to do it with the right click one, which is the one that bites when it arrives. See, this is what it um, currently does, is it makes markers repeatedly, but the new method instead creates one marker and just moves it. And also, instead of issuing full movement commands, I'm just literally issuing a move in that direction command. So it will have issues like like that, as in, you need to actually navigate your way around the corridor a bit more. But not that much more. And of course, you can still use WSA and D to move if you want. Right, this won't affect. The this won't affect ability, you, standard ability usage. You can still left click them or press the button corresponding to them. That will still operate exactly the same way. But it will affect movement and the biting movement as well. I'm, I'm about to work on implementing it in, in the biting movement. So yeah, coming back to fix some old stuff. I'm very nearly done with my list of things I wanted to implement before this release, so... Okay, stream-wise, I'm going to be streaming for a couple of hours, so until about... Half two in UK time. That's my aim. It's fire in here. Right, half nerd. Good to have you with us. Okay, so let's look at implementing this movement on the bite movement. So the right call to arms repositioning is what I'm looking at now. This is the new left stuff. I'll be looking at the new right stuff. Okay, so this one's going to be pretty much exactly the same, only with a couple of key differences. So, right is what? Right is call to arms one. You're right, the great scientist. Good to have you with us. Have 
have any of you seen the aphid farming from Skybug? It's really hard. No, I've not seen that yet. I've not uh, not caught up with that one. I'm fixing old bugs at the minute. How's he? <laughs> Have, to look. Is it, have you got a post on it on the forums? Okay. the old code. This stuff's going to be very similar to this. And so fast you can barely see it happen. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at it in a bit. I'm not. I'm not going to go over that book just yet. I'm, uh, Deep in the middle of looking at um, looking at the 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 hungry spider movement. Okay, so, tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay, so... I think I'm going to need to... Ha I'm going to need bite to be handled slightly differently, so I need to have a look in the behavior tree. So that was the normal movement. I've completely disconnected it now. One of these will be bite. Okay, command one, that's bite. Okay, so it targets a marker. Set to follow trail. Move to the marker. Cancel marker number. Stop movement. Flag ability in use. Bite. Flag ability in use. And okay. I think in order for this to work, I need to disable this. I need to handle it elsewhere, but I still need to do pretty much the same thing. So first of all, the character needs to walk towards the marker. Okay, so this is where we're going to split off. So that's if it's the if it's a movement command. Yeah, this is getting messier by the minute. So this will be if it's a bite command. No, 
I'm just going to copy this for now because it's going to be pretty damn similar. Okay. So it arrived. Okay, ignore, 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 ignore. I think that's fine. Okay, so let's let's try that at the minute. Let's see if that works. Uh, there was there was some issues with um, aphids floating if you kill the ladybird as the aphids heading towards the ladybird's mouth. It's cool. So when the aphid arrives at the ladybird's mouth, it then gets removed. But if you kill the ladybird in the meantime, the aphid just kind of stops midair. The that use that was an issue. I'm not sure whether we fixed it. That might be what you're talking about. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay, so there it's not, um, not registering. Something's not registering. Right, we're going to need to have this on a separate screen so I can see what's happening. I, I think I know what's happening. Player controlled spider. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's this. It's meant to be linked to that and that, and here it's not. That and that. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay, so the movement's working. Now we need to... To me. Now we need to actually make it bite. This is going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, so the bite sort of occurs here. But it should basically occur on arrival and then repeat. Okay, so here and here. This is where we want the bite to occur. Now I need to have a look at the... Okay, so... It would normally cancel it. Okay, 
However, I'm going to handle that slightly differently. So we run. So we stop movement. Flag ability in use. Do the bite. Unflag the ability in use. Okay, so I think stop movement's quite simple from here. Oh no, I need the pawn. Yeah, I need this. Okay. Stop movement. See what that does. Oh, something is not. It's just telling me it doesn't need to do the cast. Uh, yeah, that's a behavior tree, which basically it performs actions from left to right. And most of it's based on um, sequences and uh, selectors. So a sequence will go through in order until one fails. And a selector will go through them in order until one succeeds. So this, for example, is a sequence. So that succeeds, it then does that arrow. This is a selector, so it only does one of these. So it'll try this first. If, it, if that fails, it'll try this. If that fails, it'll try this. It just goes through from left to right. Have you watched the, um, the babysitting video? Yeah, Mike put that one together. 
Nice little advert at that level. Mike does a good job of the little promotional videos. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. That's not connecting. Also, it shouldn't be looping. Not unless you're holding down the mouse button. I think that's because of this. Um, it doesn't need to do the second arrival check either. Oh, hang on. Wrong thing. There, it's that, sorry. I think. I don't know if this is going to work. This is me just trying to get it to stop. Okay, so it keep, should keep biting until I release. Dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. There we are. Its appetite is insatiable. So if I hold the right mouse button down, of creatures nearby. it keeps biting. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay. Right. So that was a success, but it's obviously still not working yet. There's some things that we need to look into. So, I, which I believe are here. So, 
Right, so set to turn to location is currently target location and No, it, it shouldn't be that. It should be the um the call to arms location. Okay. You're working off different rules now. Are there any plans for improving wood amp mortars hit chance against moving targets? Right now it seems they aim at their target, making moving targets almost unhittable. Uh no. It's it's their weakness really. And I don't wanna I don't wanna fill in their weakness. The one thing I would consider is allowing them to hit. Oh, I think they already do. I think I think their AOE currently hits. I, I I didn't I did mean for that to be the case. I think I made it the case. But no, they're not meant to hit moving targets. If you want to hit moving targets, you need to go with rapid fire. Uh, Mortars, you've got to pin down your target with another type of ant, and then uh, and then hit them from there. Uh, with the ladybirds, the ladybirds get slowed when you hit them with a melee target. So as long as you've got melee ants with them, you should be able to slow them and then uh, and then dump on them. If they're not being slowed, that's a bug. Ladybird, ladybirds, birds essentially have an ability which slows them when they take damage. Although I think it's less in harder game modes, and you need more melee to sur surround them in those sort of circumstances. But no, there's no, there's no plans to make mortars hit their targets more frequently because they're not meant to. They they do a lot more damage than the um. Because they're AOE, they do a lot more damage in, in the correct circumstances. Right, Project Zero, good to have you with us. Okay, so let's see if we're connecting now and also if we turn if we're rotating correctly. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insane. Okay, this looks promising. And there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and yeah. suck the juices of its many victims. This feels a lot better. Although I need to give it more range. Right, what's the range of um What's the range of the bite ability? One hundred and fifty. Okay, so it's quite quite big. So if I go if I go one two five for the um the initial arrival and then one fifty for the so one two five squared is one five six two five. And then 150 squared is 
tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of... There we go. I think we've done it. Okay. So, something to check is does... Yeah, so pressing the button still works by the look of it. Ah. Didn't there. Okay, so there is a bug. I know why as well. How do I solve that one? Maybe the uh, maybe the uh, ladybirds need a bit of a slow need a bit more slow on insane. I say I don't really balance the game around insane. I balance it around hard, then knock it down, make it easier for normal and harder for insane. But I, ba I balance I balance normal and hard. And insane, I just knock it up a notch because I'm not going to be able to do it anyway. <laughs> Rip hungry scooter. Yes. Right then, let's, uh, okay, so, what was, what was I doing? Sorry. It's, it's really hot. <laughs> I need to get, I need to spend some time outside today. Get my vitamin D. This wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Um, right, so the issue is that when you press 1, so where's the command for pressing 1? As you think I need it to, to set reposition right call to arms. I think that should do it. This feels like such a funny way around. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, mm. and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its meat. Right. Meditives. Okay. 
I'm going to try something and I have no idea whether it's going to work because that didn't work perfectly. So, but I'm going to need to um, basically when it bites I'm going to turn reposition right call to arms off. Uh, that might not work there. Yeah, still an issue. Of the world, this wolf so when you press one, it constantly heads towards the mouse until it reaches it. Ah, tricky. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. It's nearly there. The problem is pressing one can't say that. Oh, can't can't do reposition because that's what rep uh. Oh no, rather than reposition, just the rather than flagging reposition. Ignore that for now. Uh, and where it does it down here as well. Rather than do reposition, we make it do um, arrived. So arrived equals false when you press one. That should have the same effect, but without locking. Um, without locking the. Um, the, the the spider into chase mode chase them chasing the mouse by last level do you mean um the last formicarium challenge with the with this scientist where he's squishing your ants with his finger that one is that what you're talking about Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. I'm assuming I killed that. Yeah, I did. I just want to have it before I declare myself the master of the spider level and rejoice forevermore. I uh, hang on. Let's let's get rid of the um, the the smoke effect. I think it was on level methods. No, it clearly wasn't. Uh, It's probably on the UG tile grid then. Oh no, it's not. I know where it is. It's on the um, it's here, literally here. There. I'm trying to remember where everything where everything is. Okay, so that should get rid of the markers again. A full stop for the gateway, but. Tucked away in a dark corner. I mean, like, there's any more space hunters. than I have. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many. Victims. There's a few things in play for beating that challenge. Uh,
there's a few things that will affect your success on that one. Okay, the controls in this are feeling a lot better now, by the way. It feels infinitely better. However, I've just noticed that I'm no longer gaining experience. <laughs> My guess is the damage isn't coming from anything yet. Yeah, that, that'll be it. So the, the bite damage, which is all you get at the start, has no damage caused as of yet. So I need to plug that in. Ah, and that's why, because uh, it had no damage caller, I was biting myself as well. <laughs> I was wondering why the blood spurts were coming up for, uh, for biting nothing. But it's because I was biting myself. Oh, they're still coming up. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. It's See the blood spurts. And there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Yeah, it's it's because it's biting itself, but Right, okay. So apply radial damage returns true if it was applied to at least one actor. So it's applying to itself. However, it's, 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 it's getting it correct. It's going, no, I'm, uh, I'm an ally. I, I shouldn't receive damage. However, Yeah. However, it's still it's still applying to something. So the engine's still going. Yep, it applied. Make the blood spurt. Okay, so how do I deal with that? How do I stop the blood spurt appearing from it biting itself? really do with it telling me which actors were hit because I could check them but it doesn't oh, let me just check the points are going up because I didn't actually check that I mean they will be but you should always check it doesn't matter how confident you are tucked away in a dark corner of the world yeah, yeah. Spider XP's hungers. going up now. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. 
It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Not coming up there. That's weird. Unless unless it isn't coming from that and it's coming from a different actor. Find where it's coming up. It's not. It's not happening anymore. These other abilities haven't changed, so there shouldn't be an issue. I know why that's disappearing. Oh. Oh. I know why that um, bullet's disappearing. It's, it's, not the, it's not set to the mortar bullet. I think there was a, a change made to rapid fire bullets that makes them disappear. I think that's what's happening. It's okay. I'm, get, I'm getting there with all of this now. Okay.
Perfect. So I couldn't get that to happen again. I don't know what's going on with it. And it's not that important, so I'm going to leave it for one for a minute. Whilst I deal with some of these other issues. Okay. So what have we got? Venom Strike, Crippling Venom. It's Crippling Venom. Uh, fire AoE Projectile. Air relocation projectile. It uses We we'll have a quick look at the wood ants projectiles. With the mortar wood ants. So using basic wood ant projectile light. Okay, that's just the explosion. My camera's in the way of the tabs. That's deton that's the detonate event. Right. Location projectile. Just use an acid projectile. So is that, damn it. Fortunately I haven't uh, figured anything out here. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Definitely looks like it fades out on purpose. Have a look at what we've got. Acid projectile. Raindrop, raindrop splash, water ribbon. Right, I might be missing something here, a vital piece of information, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my team
gonna leave. Let's hear it. Hang on, I'm going to look at the stream. Right, so firing the projectile seems to disappear and then reappear for landing. Don't know if there was something added to maybe the rapid fire would answer as an optimization or something. Matt's going to take a look and let me know what the, uh, let me know what the issue is. Really this, this shot should be more like the mortar. So it really needs to use the mortar's projectile, but I'm not sure what's happen what's been going on with the projectiles so When you got when you had a look, Matt, let me know and I'll change it. Um, right. So, assuming that one gets fixed, how much do I have? Less do I have? Okay, so mouse controls need improving. That's been done. Check VS not hit by radial damage drop off. VS Venom Strike. Don't think it will be. But let's have a look. Venom strike, venom strike. Okay, so it spawns a floor AOE. It might be, you know. I just had a thought. Pop 
high radial damage looks like it is actually so that that will be affecting this right, if I if I show an example like if I remove the brains of these two wood lice Before I do that, let's save the level and not save it after this. No, it's not. The, it's not to do with the the, the lifetime of the projectile because the projectile still exists when it disappears from view. I think. I think it's just an optimization that's been put in for the um, for the rapid fire wood ants where the projectile. You see it fire, and but it, it generates fire, no projectiles whilst it's in, in the middle of its arc. I think that's what it is. <laughs> if I remove the brains of these two wood lice and put a human brain in... <laughs> So those wood lice will, will now not move. This wolf spider hungers. Just need it's to get enough ex ex XP for a, for a level up. Of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay. Right, so if you watch Venom Strike now. Oh, naff off. Okay, so if I place it on top of this uh, this creature here, oh, for goodness sake, leave me alone. I'm doing an experiment. If I place it on top of this wood louse, you should see this wood louse takes less damage. I don't even think it's hit the other wood louse. Oh, well, there goes the experiment. Ruined. Yeah, so they're taking different amounts of damage. So this is this will be an indirect nerf to that ability. It's probably why. Tucked away in a dark corner. I know. This I know. Last time I was I was playing this level on stream. Is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay, so whichever one's closest to the center should take the most damage. So, that said, I think they're both quite far away, although that one is closer to the center. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I... Activate that... Yeah, the venom pool wants no fall off. Basically, what what happened was at some point I fixed this function because it 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 was broken in our code and the the do fall damage didn't work. However, when I fixed it, 
I most things have do full damage on, and I just turned it off on a couple of things, like the wood ants, like the like the mortar wood ants because they were too powerful. Someone smoking outside. Um, like the mortar, mortar wood ants because they're too powerful. However, um. This, I turned it off on these originally, but I balanced it around its current state. So, in order to keep it what it used to be, I need to turn that, I need to turn it back on to do full damage. Let's test it. Now the wood lice should die at the same time, it shouldn't matter what position they are. You should notice it does quite a bit more damage as well, because being at the epicenter is not common. And there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh. So it's just one point in it again. Juices of its many victims. <laughs> they both survived. <laughs> but only just, yeah. It's clearly worked. Okay, so that, um, that's good. Okay. So that's another thing dealt with. Uh, I need to want to reload this level now so I can get the wood lice with their brains back. Don't know what, don't want no stupid wood lice. Okay, so I'm going to cross off that check. Venom strike is not hit by damage drop off. Okay, so crippling venom not working in combat. One second. Yes, <laughs> yes, they are. The the woodworms at least run away a bit. The wood lice don't even run away. They just duck down and cling on tight and hope they don't die, which they inevitably do. Looks like collisions back on again. <sighs> right. Okay, so player control creature, player control methods. I don't think I've changed all of them, but I may as well save them just in case. I might have moved a node slightly to be able to make them more readable. Okay. So I think it's just that projectile left. Oh no, okay, there's an issue with Crippling Venom. Right, Crippling Venom was always meant to allow you to pull targets, and it used to be able to do that, but I think it stopped doing that. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies it's another point actually. It does 
despite have a drop off. Many victims. Bite bite suffering from the same thing. I think Bite should be doing full damage as well. Well, it certainly used to be. But these will have made this level harder. <laughs> by quite some way. Because it's to do with the centre of, of the enemy, not... Not just the enemy themselves. The of the world, this wolf spider hungers. That's it's feeling stronger. And there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay, so for a while now, the hungry spider, since I fixed AOE, the hungry spider level has been massively nerfed. Well, it may I mean ma massively harder. God, these side effects of, of changes. Should check that uh, crippling venom's damage as well is the same, because that it might have been something to do with the drop off with that as well. Okay, right, so crippling venom. Oh, that one's set to do full damage. Crippling Venom only does one damage, but... Um... Yeah, you, you 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 did mention it in regards to the black ants, but but it's the damage that's the. Uh, sorry, we've we've solved the issues, I believe. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world. This wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay, so crippling venom was always meant to allow you to pull a target. So, for example, if I shoot there, it should be targeting me now. It is targeting me, okay. Okay, well that worked there, but I'm not sure whether there's um See, it, it, 
it worked for some of them then, but even some of the ones hit then didn't, uh, like, him, he's not coming for me. He took damage, so he took one damage there. His health started to regenerate already, but... To do with this in combat creature thing. Go away. Just bring up the behavior trees. Top of the behavior tree. Okay. So that's what is it? It's in combat with it. I think I might have added a range onto this, you know. I think I did, and that'll be what I'm experiencing here. I've got some memory of adding a range onto it. So it looks like, it, yeah, I've added a range on it, which is 1.5 times. Something called maximum distance. So it's part of nearest enemy creature. Be back in a sec. Just
Okay, so I've, I've noticed what I think is a bug at the minute. I'm going to bring you into the C++ code. Okay, so nearest enemy creature We've got a max distance and a, mi a minimum distance. And then some other stats here. So there's this thing called maximum distance. Now, maximum distance has a few things here. So, but something to note is if save maximum distance is equal to maximum distance, So basically here, maximum distance equals minus one. I don't know what saved maximum distance is. I got a feeling this is a... Right, I know I'm not making much sense at the minute, but I'm trying to figure this out as I'm going. There, there was huge optimizations made within this, which is why it's it's so complicated. It used to be quite simple, but with a, with more optimum paths become come without more optimizations comes more complication. Assuming you have a press play, this will just trigger immediately. It'd just be nice to know if maximum distance was minus one at this point. What am I? This is a large beach wolf smider, small collision three. Doesn't have an in combat creature. I, every, I think everything on the map will hit this constantly. Hardly anything will hit that unless it's got a. Okay. So, yeah, this is the swarm black ant. to get optimized away so ridiculous how can that even be optimized away <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, it's clearly picking it up at some distance. I look like there's rays coming out of my head. It annoys me that maximum distance has been optimized away because I need to know that value. It's actually quite important because this this is essentially the thing that makes you attack stuff that's attacking you. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Okay. The problem, as soon as I put something in there, it'll trigger immediately. Ugh. All right. Drastic measures. Right, saving the level in a separate level. I'm going to delete all the creatures but one. This, I just want to make sure there's nothing funny going on here because it's got huge potential for dodginess here.
you're going to be the survivor. I got rid of all the wood ants. Oh, slave makers. Huh. Okay. So there should only be one creature left running those functions. Tucked away in a dark corner of the world, this wolf spider hungers. Its appetite is insatiable, and there lies a feast of creatures nearby. It will liquidize the flesh and suck the juices of its many victims. Right, bring you back into the C plus plus. Right, so it looks to me like ma save maximum distance is minus one. So what does maximum distance equal? It's minus one. Okay, so maximum distance equals minus one. Right, with maximum distance equaling minus one, then we shouldn't end up in here. No, we don't. 
I mean, we shouldn't anyway, because the the line of sight thing should fail. But basically, I don't think maximum distance is what that's meant to be. I'll have to ask Liam about this one. Oh, such fun. Anyway, 15 minutes left of the stream. Here I am, messing with max distance. Okay, I'm going to come back to this after the stream. It's clearly broke. There's clearly something wrong with it, and I'm going to need to speak to Liam about it. Those two things, the last things I've got left on my list um, for this level, for the Hungry Spider level. Yeah, I've done the stuff I had on my list as well for free play. Minus one times one point five equals square of mi minus one times the square of five. Yeah, it's an <laughs> it's an imaginary number. <laughs> Basically, I don't. I, I think the wrong thing's been used there. What what's probably happened is the minus one is meant to represent use the creature's default. However, it's not been taken to an, into account when it got down here. Uh, that would be my guess. But it is just a guess. This is Liam's uh, area now. It used to be my area, but Liam went through it heavily optimizing it, and I don't know what it is anymore. So this is something to, this is an optimization right here. If, so, oh, hang on. This is what this is what's meant to change it. Hmm. 
Okay, hang on. Let's run through this again. That's definitely meant to change it. That's meant to change it. This must just not be updating. It is very optimized away. Uh, maybe it is fine. Maybe that's not the issue. It's, it's, it's a bit funny as well because things like the hermit crab have much smaller target radiuses. And if I have a look, if I have a quick look at the stat sheet. Okay, so just having a quick look at the stat sheet here. Uh, so target radius, for example, uh, black ant is four hundred, work is four hundred. Devil's Coach Horse Larvae Okay, so that's the Black Ant Queen that's calling it. Devil's Coach Larvae is 700. Interestingly, the Devil's Coach Horse Adult is 600. Life's tiny, wood ants 500, so they've got, well, the, the mortars along with them. Beach wolf spider 600. Ah. This small beach wolf spider, smaller. Now the hermit crabs are two hundred. So the hermit crabs have really small. One point five times that is going to be a tiny amount. Uh, 
it it did sort of make sense knowing that black ants have four hundred. So if I bring you back into the engine. These are 700, so these should have a massive range on it. So 700, that's about 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. That's about 700, so they should be able to easily get me. Yeah, see, it's still following me really long distance away. I'm going to put loads of points into that so its radius is massive. So it's, it's, it's aiming towards me there. But as soon as, yeah, as soon as it... As soon as it, it stops being in combat with me, it ignores, it drops off. I actually do think that it's working. I think the issue is that for some creatures it doesn't work. As in, some creatures have really low visual range. And because of that, they're going to really struggle to deal with in combat situations. But you can probably hit a hermit crab with a mortar and it won't retaliate. So what I think I might do is add a minimum to it. So whichever value is the largest between 1.5 times its uh, its range or let's say about 500. So any creature can attack up to 500, uh, attack its attacker up to 500 away from it. I think that makes sense. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to implement that. Should basically allow you to more effectively pull targets in this but it'll have an effect on the whole game as well as in you won't be able to kill, attack hermit crabs from outside of their visual range anymore well up to 500 so i'm coming back to chat for one last time before i end this session so i have I've, I've not um Yeah, I don't know, motion must be an attack. Um the the slash the huge amounts of slashes is just Liam putting something in to remind himself that it's important. It doesn't make any difference. As soon as there's two slashes it's still a comment. But Liam's just basically going, This is something I need to be aware of. It's not always good <laughs> not everything we do in the code is good practice. I'm sure our code has uh, lots of room for improvement. Right, I'm going to end the stream there. I've got a couple of things that I need to look at. I'll do that. Um, regarding the build, I know it's m much later than I said it would be, but it's probably not going to be till next week now. Um,
so I'm not going to push anything until next week. I'm going to keep an eye on bugs over the weekend. See if I can deal with the remaining ones I have. And if I can now get the... Yes, I'm plugging back on my PC. Right, yes. So, thanks very much for joining me. Um... I'm going to catch some sun as well before it uh, before it goes. And I will... Uh, I'll see you next week. Should be back on Wednesday. Hopefully by that point there'll, there'll be a new build out. Yep. See you then. It's all right.